All right, so I want to record this here as an interesting topic because if you become a or are a DFS Army member here and you log in, you'll see that one of the very first things that should show up is a shark autopsy report. So this gentleman on here, he won $15,000 being in the top 10 of this Millie Maker, what they call on DraftKings. So this here video gets into both um, with the idea of both that along with FanDuel to try to get some basics covered and how you can be in the top 10 or whatever you can possibly be in when it comes to the strategy involved with this. So one of the really main basic things that will help you easily lay it out is you can come over to Roto Grinders Vegas Lines. And you can see here, the NFL brought up, you can order this up in terms of, of course, highest over under, the highest by five points. And this divisional type game, interestingly, Houston versus Indianapolis. That's Indy at Houston in their house, actually. Projected points, total 24 and a half points, according to the, to the reliable Vegas odds, their betting odds. So here you have uh, Houston favored at home by a point and a very high over under with even the possibility of going into overtime, scoring a lot of points. So one interesting thing about last week's Millie Maker was that the top over, under, and projected points teams, Tampa and Atlanta, even though in a meaningless game, had scored the most points, particularly with uh, Winston at quarterback and two receivers, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. That doesn't happen every week. But let's say you went over here and that logged me out. I'm not going to log in right now, but let's say you went here, logged in, got the shark autopsy report reviewed for the past 17 weeks for what it took. Every autopsy report to see for yourself what you can do leading into next season in the NFL fantasy contests. So the reason I paused was because to think about that, $15,000 off of a investment of learning how to do this, the, the tools and everything and the, uh, you know, the tools you can pick up various places such as this as well, draft dashboard, would take you a few hours a week to really narrow it down your strategy Get some practice, start low, 25 cent contest, dollar, whatever you can afford. So that even if you don't position yourself, at least at first, that you'll be profitable uh, winning some of these. And using basically wild card uh, cheat sheets, things like that. Um, here's some targets for this week, as I mentioned, in the top games. Andrew Luck, Lamar Miller from that particular game, T.Y. Hilton, and Eric Ebron, interestingly. So certainly there's not enough games to go around as a regular week, but you can target some guys through some, of course, experts. But they do very well in picking players and using them. Just got to figure out who you really want to stack uh, in these games so just remember uh, you know really the the Vegas lines highest projected point totals here 
going into uh, a wild card and a divisional game uh, next week as well. Okay, you can profit out with some money. Um, get signed up for the DFS Army. Okay, if you want to look look at that tool and the draft dashboard tool with all these different uh, analytics and so forth. The NFL cheat sheets that these couple sites very efficiently and effectively put out. You can get yourself in position to win tournaments, whether that be earnings of several thousand dollars according to base basing on of you know what you can afford to put in there um, so then you can uh, like I said look at even position by position breakdown in the shark autopsy report on this DFS army site so that you can see week by week uh, it would be an educational study to get into that so I just want to leave you with that those thoughts here in uh, breaking that down at least in a simple way for now. So I will let you go with that and uh, with these targets here as well as you can see uh, these are pretty good and reliable um, target sources right here.